What's up, everyone? I'm back here. I'm gonna turn everything down. <clears throat> Coworker's about showing up right now. Probably mad because I took a spot. Well, it's actually not his spot. It's my spot. Yes, I'm staring at you. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> my toe hurts. But it only hurts though when I'm walking on it, which is gonna suck. Cause last night, walking on this toe hurt with every single step that I took and when I did stop I really took advantage of it of course I wasn't like standing there doing nothing but like every chance that I got to stop to stand <clears throat> if I was by something I would put my foot up like Captain Morgan so I was basically Captain Morgan the whole night um, and uh, the the ibuprofen, the Tylenol, <laughs> does not help. I mean, I can tell you that for a fact. It's, it's not helping. Um, yeah. I do have to say this, because I, I mentioned this right after I found out. But there was a basketball coach. I don't know if you know him. His name is Jerry Sloan. He was a coach for the Utah Jazz <clears throat> when uh, back in the 90s when they had Carl Malone, John Stockton, blah, blah, blah. Anyways. The new show that just came out, well, not new show, but a documentary on the, the, the Bulls champion, last championship uh, called The Last Dance. Uh, the coach uh, that was on there for the opposing team is Jerry Sloan. Literally, I think all the shows are, all the documentary has been released so far, I think. And that coach literally just passed away after it was released. Isn't that weird? Is that a weird coincidence? Like, like he was waiting to see the last dance, and then he had his last dance. That is so weird. But he was he was dealing with a lot of uh, health um, complications too. And, uh, I don't even know if he knew the show was going on. I honestly don't know at all. <clears throat> but uh. I had a lot of sleep. My wife has been doing a lot outside. Uh, I wish, I know she wants to, but I wish there was a way that I could uh, be able to set up a camera for her and uh, just let her record everything and, and show her how to edit, but I'm not a really good editor. I, I can show her basics and maybe she'll learn. She's probably gonna learn faster than me anyways. Um, <clears throat> see, cause, I had to like trial and error everything and uh, that's how I make things work for myself like I started when I was younger I I bought this um, 3d coding book because I wanted to be a 3d coder for video games so I bought the, bit, the book was reading through it uh, found there was a CD in it uh, had a computer put it in there installed it blah 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 it was basically your own game engine, and you can create your own games. Like, you could literally create your whole game right there. Anything you wanted to, you just had to learn how to code, pretty much, or uh, download the, the prefabs that were on the internet at the time. And it's still there. It's 3D Game Studio. Um, it's really great. I mean, one of the very first early ones I, I took advantage of, and... I spent hours and hours, and I mean, I learned a little bit. I didn't learn, like, fully how to code. I was mostly learning how to, like, uh, if I had the the objects, the, the, the prefabs, um, basically, they were already pre-made. I would basically take them, put them in the code, into the game, and then run the game from there. Like, and then I would basically do everything else, like, uh, any extra animations that needed to be done. Um, like say you wanted to, um, <clears throat> like say you wanted a gun in the scene or something like that, or uh, a rifle, or uh, uh, a harpoon, or a basketball, um, or anything like shopping cart. <laughs> Sounds funny. Uh, you just put it in the game, and, and then you make it do whatever you want. So like you can create an animation to make it move, or you know make wheel spin, whatever it is. Uh, basically, that's the stuff that I would do. Coding stuff, I could never get. Like, I tried, I've tried, I've tried, I've tried. I promise you, like, 
I don't I, I don't get the concept of it. Um, and some people do, and and I'm I'm almost a hundred percent sure Troll knows it, and it sucks and it kills me inside because like I want to know. Ah, but alas, we are at the uh, the end of it. See, because I didn't do any of that. Uh, in the end, I tend to, I tended to not be able to pursue any of that because. Uh, I didn't have the money and back then I know I say that back then like it was so long ago but it was for me <clears throat> it's been 18 years um, back then is expensive and no have money to get in there so I was screwed so this is where I'm at please do not end up like me not saying not saying Walmart's bad not saying any other grocery store or any store is bad at all but if you can help it, help it, right? I hope my kids are doing that. Uh, I, I know I get through to them on, on most of it, but they understand there's always a, there's always the the dream, which is your ultimate goal, but there's also a, uh, um, a fallback. And I don't have that, so. That's why I have kids. Maybe they'll learn my lesson. Anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.